Hello. Hello, hi, how are you? Hello. 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 <coughs> hi, teacher. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hold on. How are you today? Good. How are you? Fine. Thanks. All right. Can you hear me all? Yes. 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 Okay. I, I can hear you. Good. How is everyone? Fine. Fine. Good. Very good. So it looks like we have a full class already. Very nice. All right. Um, so let's get started. My name is Marissa, and I will be your teacher for the next hour. And we will be talking about the top ten. Somebody has a lot of background noise going on wherever they are. If you could just get to a quiet place, that would be perfect. So we can all hear you. And you guys can hear me. Um, all right, so yeah, we are going to be talking about the top 10 summer vacation spots in the United States. And this is a fun topic because I love going on vacation. So, um, and a few of these places I have actually been to myself. So I can tell you firsthand what they're like. If maybe you've been to them as well, if you've ever been to um, America. So let's just do a little introduction. My name is Marissa, and I live in New York. I was born in New York and I've lived here all my life. Um, so yeah, it's really cold here. It's about 30 degrees and um, it's going to snow in a few days actually. So it's very cold and it's about 11 a.m. here. So let's get started. Um, um, Ahmed, can you hear me? Uh, hello, how are you? Hi. All? Can you just introduce Hi. yourself? My name is Ahmed. Just a little introduction. Uh, Maybe just say what country you're from. I am from Syria. From Syria. Okay. Yeah. And Alex. Yes. I'm Hi. Alex. Uh, I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you broke up a little bit. Can you just repeat what you said? Uh, do you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Um, my name is Alex. I'm from the Dominican Republic. Um, this is my third time using Berlin, and this is my, my first time uh, uh, visiting your class. Oh, very nice. This is actually just my third class, so you guys are my third class that I've taught. Okay. So, all right. So, Ber um, sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Bermil. 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 Yes. Hi. Hi. I'm from Dominican Republic, too. Okay. Very nice. That's all. What time is it in the Dominican Republic? 12. 12. Mm -hmm. 
nice. And then, um, Erman. Can you hear me, Erman? I don't think his microphone's working. Okay, moving on. Gustavo? Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm from Colombia. Colombia? Yes. I hear Drake playing. Does somebody have a Drake ringtone? <laughs> Is that you for a meal? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Oh, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good, good song. Good the, song. The bad is calling me. I have to pick up this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Moving on. Um, Hassan. Hus Hassan. Okay. Uh, my name is Sin. I'm from Sin. Turkey in Istanbul. Uh, I joined second time in your class. Very nice. Very nice. I'm glad to That's have you in my class. Um, moving on, okay, Jen Nier. Uh, Hanir. Hi. 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 Uh, what, what country are you from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia, okay. Two Colombians. Yes. Very nice. Um, Russell? Russell, can you hear me? I don't think you can hear me. All right, moving on. Um, Sof Sofian. Yes. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. I can uh, hear you. Oh, so this is Sofian. I'm from Tunisia. All right. I think and I may. This, I may and have. This had is my class? first class with you, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. Awesome. Um. Okay. Z Ziad or Ziad? Yeah, it's Ziad. Ziad. Hi, yes, where are you uh, from? I'm, hi, I'm Ziad. I'm from uh, Alexandria, Egypt. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Um, so we're going to get started. I'm going to try to pull up a picture for you. See if you can see it. Let me know. Can you see that picture? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. That's the first. That's our yes. first summer destination. This is number 10. Um, we're going to go from 10 all the way down to 1. So number 10 is, um, does anyone know what this city is? Which city this is? No. No? no. This, is, this is Dallas, Texas. Ah, Texas. Dallas, Texas. And Texas is located in the southern portion of um, America. It's very hot in the south all the time. It's sticky and hot. Um, it's quite uncomfortable. I've been down to the south, like in Florida, and um, I, I don't prefer that weather because it's really, it's it's too hot for me. But um, I'm going to go through all ten of the summer vacation spots, and these are places that Americans and foreigners like to visit the most during the summertime. Um, so these are the places that are visited the most in America during the summer. So Dallas, Texas is number ten. And there are, um, in Dallas, Texas, there's about two million rooms, like hotels and motels available for people to stay in. And during the summer, there's one million rooms rented out for people to stay in. Um, so there's quite a few rooms. And actually, all ten of these places have over a million, uh, over a million rooms that you can stay in. Um, so it's pretty crazy. It's Texas is really, can I ask something? Sure. You can ask questions whenever you want, and I'll answer them for you. Okay. Uh, is Texas really the most rich uh, state in the U.S.? The most, the most reached. Yeah. Rich, uh, or or can I say it richest, richest? The, the richest state? Um, no, it's one yeah. of the big. It's one of the biggest states, but I don't. It's not one of the richest states. Um, okay. but it's one of the biggest states. California is also one of the biggest states. Um, but Dallas, Texas is the third largest city in um, Texas. And it's the most popular city for tourists. And when people go there during the summer, they spend about, per year, they spend about three billion dollars there. Three billion American dollars when they go to Dallas, Texas. Um, 
and 22 million people visit each year. So there's quite there's quite a few people that visit each year. Also, when you have a tourist a, a spot where people go for vacation, that also creates jobs for the people that live in Dallas, Texas, that are from Texas, and they live in Dallas. So about 50,000 jobs are created from um, tourists and people coming to. Dallas, Texas. So it, it brings in jobs, which is a good thing because we want more jobs in America. There's not many right now. <laughs> is it um, near the ocean? Um, Dallas, Texas, is right in the middle of Texas, pretty much. So it's it's not it's not near the ocean. It's probably about um, I would say five or six, maybe seven hours away from the coast. So um, mm -hmm. it borders Mexico. So it's all the way down by Mexico. Um, it's, so it's pretty... this water, uh, this water in the picture was a river. Yes, that's the river. Um, I'm not sure what the river's called. I could probably look it up. Um, but yeah, that's a river <clears throat> in Dallas, Texas, and I'm not sure which one it is. Um, I've never been to Texas myself, but it's somewhere where I would like to go. I have a friend that lives there in Texas. Um, so yeah. So the next place you guys may have um, heard of, maybe not the city name, but um, what's in the city. So number nine is, I'm going to type it in for you, Anaheim, California. And California is on the west coast. Um, the west coast is beautiful. It's a great place to go. California is a big tourist destination. And there's quite a few places on this list that um, are in California. There's about four or five. So California is a big tourist destination. So there's about 1,300,000 um, rooms available in Anaheim. And about 1,100,000 of them are rented out per year. So a lot of people go to Anaheim during the summer. And the reason why it's such a big tourist destination is because Disneyland is there. Have you have you all heard of Disneyland? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Disneyland is in Anaheim. So that's like a big family destination. I've never been there. I've been to California, but I have I have not been to Disneyland or Anaheim. You said um, it, uh, it is in the west side? Yes, no, it's, on, on, the west it's coast? on the west coast of of America. And it's it's close to the ocean as well, so it's not too mm -hmm. far away. And um, there's about 42 million people that go there per year to Disneyland. So that's... Wow. that's, that's I want to go myself. <laughs> yeah. I would like to go too. Um, I've been to Disney World. Um, Disney World is in Florida. And we'll talk about that later. Oh. Someone has some really loud music going on. Oh, it's okay. It stopped. Um, so yeah, there's, that's okay. There's Disneyland, which is in California, and then Disney World is in um, Florida. So there's two different places. Um, so seven point one billion dollars was spent, American dollars was spent in Disneyland. It was. And that's an insane amount of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> to be spending on rides and, and um, roller coasters and, and whatever else. So the, the, the place itself is um, very expensive to stay at. Um, just like Disney World. Disney World is pretty expensive too. I went to Disney World when I was about 10 years old and it's like a completely different world. It's, it's so cool. It's really cool. Um, it's a it's a really big destination for Americans and for people all around the world because there's no place really else like it. So, so it's what is the difference neat. between Disney World and uh, Disneyland? It's um, the comp both company. They're it's owned by the same company, but Disneyland is just a different park and it's located on the West Coast in California. Disney World Disney World is a bit bigger. There's like seven different theme parks within Disney World. So um, that's in Florida, and that's that's a lot bigger than Disneyland. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know much about Disneyland actually. I know more about Disney World. So if you have questions about Disney World, I can definitely answer those. But because um, I've been there a few times, so um, 
Yeah. So now we're going to move on to number eight. And this is actually where the Verbling office is located in San Francisco, California. Um, and I've actually been to the Verbling office. It was really cool. And um, San Francisco itself is a really, really neat city. And it's, it's a bit cooler than um, down by Anaheim and the southern portion of California because it's located in um, northern California. So it's a bit cooler. And there's about $8 million spent by tourists during the summertime in San Francisco. So it's a big um, attraction. One of the biggest attractions, I'll bring up a picture for you. Have it, has anyone heard of the Golden Gate Bridge? Yes. Yes. It's a beautiful bridge. And I've got, I've got to see it myself firsthand. Um, I'm just going to bring up a picture for you so everyone can see it. Just give me a few minutes here. Teacher, um, what's the weather in San Francisco? San Francisco is a little bit windy. I was there um, about a month and a half ago. Let's see, I'm going to bring up a picture. I was there about a month and a half ago. And it was um, it was actually warmer than it usually is, which was um, it was about 75, 80 degrees. But that's not normal for that time of year. So I lucked out and I got really good weather, thank goodness. But um, it's 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 pretty windy actually. And we went we took a boat and we went underneath the Golden Gate Bridge and we took a tour on the water. And oh my goodness, I've never felt colder air before in my life. It was. It was very windy on the boat underneath the bridge, and and huge waves, just humongous waves. But um, it was pretty neat. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I spent about two weeks there for my vacation, so I really, I really liked it. I actually didn't want to leave. <laughs> and that bridge, the Golden Gate, was open. Um, it opened in 1937, so it's a pretty old bridge. And it took about four years to build the bridge. So during that time, that was pretty fast. Golden Gate. So yeah. Um, actually, our, our number seven destination during the summer is also a, a different place in um, California, but this is in Southern California. And this place is called San Diego. San Diego, California, and it borders um, it borders Mexico, so it's very far down. It's the far that pretty much the farthest south that you can get in California, and um, there's very warm weather year round here. So it's, there's always warm weather all year round, and there's lots of beaches, and it's right on the coast, so it's right on the ocean, so you get nice weather all year round. And in 2010. In the year 2010, people spent about seven billion. Oh. If we could just try to keep the background noise down, that would help. Okay, so everyone can hear me. Thank you. Um, people spent in 2010 about seven billion American dollars in San Diego. So it it is a um, a nice tourist destination. I have a friend that lives in San Diego, and and he never wants to leave. He loves it there because there's such nice weather. so And um, 30 million people visit San Diego a year. And in 2010, that's how many people visited San Diego. Mm. So it's a very nice place to go. Our next place is in the south. Nassau? In the south portion of... Um, of America and it's called Atlanta, Georgia in the state of Georgia. Um, and this is home. Has, does everyone um, know what Coca-Cola is? Coke? I'm sure you do. Yeah. The drink? Of course. Yeah. Coca, the, co the company where your Coca-Cola comes from is from Atlanta, Georgia. That's where the company is. So that's where your Coca-Cola comes from. <laughs> and, and Pepsi too? 
Um, I don't know where the pep the Pepsi company is. I don't think that that the Pepsi company is in Atlanta, Georgia, because they're two different companies. They're not the same. So, um, but I do know that the Coca Cola company is in Atlanta, Georgia, okay. and also. The news, the, there's the, a very um, big news station in America called CNN. I don't know if anyone's heard of it. CNN. Yes. yes. That's, that's where the news station is in um, in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where CNN is. So it's a it's a big it's a big it's a big city. I'm gonna try and to see if I can. What about the NASA? NASA is in Florida. Mhm. Mm so a different state. Different state, but close to Georgia. Georgia and Florida are um, right next to each other. So let me see if I could pull up a picture of Atlanta for you. Atlanta's a very pretty, a pretty city, and all these cities, pretty much on the list, except for a few, are big cities. They're not small ones. Um, so they're not, they're not little small towns in in America. They're big, they're big cities. And there's a lot going on there, and a lot of people that live in the cities. So, you need a picture of Atlanta. Yes. Wow, is is that a stadium? A yeah, soccer yep, stadium. In the front. I I believe it's a football stadium for football mm -hmm. for American, American football. football. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, which is a huge, a huge, huge sport in America. Um, I'm not too crazy about it. I don't really watch it, but a lot of other people do. I have a lot of friends that, that watch football like crazy. They love football. But uh, it's a, if it's on the TV, I don't really watch it. I'll watch something else usually. And also in, um, in Georgia, it's the Georgia Aquarium. And does everyone know what an aquarium is? Yes. The Georgia Aquarium. Um, there are, that's that's the biggest aquarium in the world, which I actually didn't know. That's something new that I learned. Um, the Georgia Aquarium is the biggest aquarium in the world, and that's in Atlanta. So. Is it like a, a museum for uh, sea creatures? For sea creatures, right. It's a museum for sea creatures. Correct. Uh, uh, um, dead or alive? <laughs> I'm sorry? The the creatures uh, are dead or alive? No, nope, they're, <laughs> you know I mean? they're they're alive. Uh, okay. They're alive. There there might be some dead ones there, but usually they're alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, and that aquarium opened in two thousand five, in the year two thousand five. So it's not very old. It's pretty new. So our next destination, number five, is of course the nation's capital. America's capital, which is what? New York. Washington. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is the nation's capital. What about and New York? New York City is actually on this list, too, but we'll get to that soon. That's that's number two. Right okay. now, we're at number five. <laughs> of course, New York City is on there. <laughs> um. So there, this is like a, a super. This is a big, pop, the a big destination for tourists that are from America and that are foreigners as well from other countries. So um, this is a, this is a fun place to go to. I haven't been to it, but I've driven by, and it, I've seen all of the big, huge, um, tall monuments. And um, it's I've I've wanted to go for a while. I just haven't gotten a chance to yet. So hopefully I can soon. So of course there's um, there's about 15 million visitors that come per year, so that's quite a few visitors. And 5.5 um, .5 billion dollars was spent in two th in the year 2007 by tourists. So that's that's quite a bit of money being spent in Washington D.C. Does anyone uh, so know what, what is the meaning of uh, D.C. District of Columbia? Actually, someone wrote it in. District of Columbia, Tarek uh -huh. wrote it in. Um, so uh, why they why do they use this uh, DC because to, to distinguish it from the a state, for example. Yes, right, correct, correct. You're you're completely correct because there's the state of Washington, which is on the west coast near California, 
and then there's Washington, D.C., and some people may get confused by that because both of them are called Washington. So right. there's the state of Washington, which is one of the 50 states in America, and then there's Washington, D.C., which is located in Maryland on the East Coast, coast and it is, um, it is our, our nation's capital. So the D.C. is... So those are two different things. So that's why they put the, the District of Columbia there. So people wouldn't get confused and think it's the same thing. So uh, Washington um, is near Canada. Washington is near Canada, right. It borders Canada. It's right up in, in the left-hand corner of um, the United States. Uh, that means that Washington is a very cold city. Right, it's cold and it's. Um, I hear that it's rainy too. It's it's. There's lots of clouds and it's rainy. Um, I haven't been there myself, but that's that's what I hear. Um, the the weather is like in Washington. Mm. So, of course, in Washington D.C., we have the White House. What's the White House? I don't know. The house where the president lives. Right, the house where the Can president lives. Right. The house where the president lives. Um, it's a huge tourist destination, although you um, many people can't go in it because there's so much security. Um, and also the Pentagon, which is another... Um, it's like very, the parliament. Right. The Pentagon. Uh, Washington is the city of politicians. Right. It is a city of politicians. Many politicians. Many politicians. That's a good way to put it. City of politicians. Um, um, people from Washington, I think uh, they have a different accent comparing to New York. People from Washington, D.C. or Washing or the state of Washington? Yes, Washington, D.C. Um, yeah, I, yeah they, they kind of have a, more of a southern accent because Maryland is considered kind of in the south. So, um, I live in New York and we have a certain accent and then people in the South have a different accent. Um, so yeah, yeah, they, they kind of do have a different accent than people in New York. People in New York City have a different accent actually than, than where I'm from because I'm not from New York City. I'm from um, farther north, up farther north in New York. And we don't have, like we don't Alaska? have a... No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> Not as not all the way up by Canada, but kind of um, by the capital of New York, which is Albany. I live by the capital of New York, mm -hmm. so it's it's about four, three three hours away from the city, from New York City. So I, I'm not close to the city. So I li actually live in the country. <laughs> uh, New Jersey is near New York. Right, New Jersey is beneath New York. Is underneath New York. Ah, New I see. Right. Uh, how long it takes to get from New York to New Jersey? From from where I from New Jersey to New York City? Yes. Um, if, if you're up in the northern part of New Jersey, it, it only takes maybe about a, thirty minutes. Ah, it's near. But if you're if you're in the southern portion of New Jersey, it could take a few hours, th three four hours, two or three or four hours. Ah, people can uh, can uh, take uh, chips. Chips to uh, crossing the the, the the sea. Um, there. Well, there's no there's no sea in between New Jersey and. Um, are you talking about a sea in between New Jersey and New York City? Mm, yes, I I don't know what. Uh, I. They're they're actually right. Um, New York is right. New York City is right over top of New Jersey, so you could just you can drive your car. Oh, good. So, it's it doesn't you don't need to take it. Um. A, a, a boat. So, all right. So let's move on to number four. Number four is where all of the celebrities live. Los Angeles. Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Los Angeles, California. Uh, a very famous city. <laughs> yes, it's a very big city, and a lot of um, rich people live there. We've got. Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Right. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> Beverly Hills is where all of the rich people live. I wish I could live there, but I don't have as much money as they do. Not nearly as much. 
they live in houses that are millions and millions of dollars. Big, huge houses. Um, <laughs> a house that I will probably never live in my whole life, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and summer is the best time to go for, um, for a vacation in Los Angeles because the weather is hot. And it's located in California, which means that there's always beautiful weather pretty much because California has really great weather. Compared to the East Coast, the West Coast has really nice weather, especially California. Um, there's lots of beaches in Los Angeles. Um, and about 437,000 people get jobs because of tourists that come to Los Angeles. So people who, that live in Los Angeles and around Los Angeles um, jobs are created from from people living in that place and tourists coming. So there's about 26 million people that come and visit each year to Los Angeles because they, they want to be where the stars are. They want to be where the movie stars are and see where they live <laughs> and maybe become a, try to become a movie star themselves. Is so it the you, city for uh, that that's fill, uh, filled of uh, you know the the places for gambling and uh, stuff like that? The place for gambling, I'll type it in for you. Is <laughs> is um Las Vegas. Is Las Vegas, and that is located Las in Vegas. the in the state of Nevada. Nevada is um right next to California, so it's in the west as well, but it's mm -hmm. not in California. It's in Nevada, the state of Nevada. So there's about 13 billion dollars spent in 2010 in Los Angeles. So that is that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Um, and Hollywood is uh, in Los Angeles too. Right, Hollywood's in Los Angeles as well. So they, there's a lot of movies created there. There's a lot of TV shows in in, in Los Angeles, and people also call it LA. That's a shorter mm -hmm. version of saying Los Angeles, LA. So now we're going to move on to number three, and this is of course New York. Oh, New York, New York, New York City, NYC. That's what my I I call it sometimes NYC because that's just the shorter version of saying it, just like LA. NYC, New York City, which is in the Northeast. I'm about three hours away from from New York City. A three-hour drive in a car. Um, and of course in New York City we've got the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Yes. And we've also got Central Park, which is a huge park right in the middle of Manhattan. Central Park. Got Central Park. We've got the Empire State Building. And these are all places that tourists want to go. Empire State Building. Um, and you could also find foods from all around the world in New York City. You can find any type of food that you could possibly think of in New York City because there are so many people from all around the world that live in New York City and come visit. So there's foods from all around the world. Um, and the shopping is great. There's lots of places to shop. There's also Broadway. Broadway, um, they've got many shows in Broadway that you can go see. You could pay money to go see a show. And $30 billion is spent per year in New York City. $30 billion American dollars. So that's probably the most on my whole list of money spent. The, <laughs> the location that, that spends the most is New York City on my whole list. So 70% uh, uh, goes to Manhattan. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> A lot of a lot of people go to Manhattan, New York City. It's a big. It's probably I would say one of the biggest places to go. Um, when you come to America, everyone wants to go to the city. And to see the big tower. <laughs> right, right. There's so many. There's so many buildings. It's actually overwhelming. It's it's crazy. You look up and there's just buildings everywhere, and it doesn't really smell too good, to be honest with you. It, it kind of smells bad. You can't so see many, the sky. <laughs> yeah, you can't see any stars in the sky because there's so many lights from the buildings, and um, it's lit up all day long. And at nighttime, it looks like it's daytime because it's, there's so many lights and buildings around. Um, I actually don't 
really like to go to the city myself just because there's so many people. There's so many people in the city. It's actually, there's too many people for me. I don't like to be surrounded by so many people. I like my space. So that's why I live in the country. Um, I, I just like to visit for maybe a day or two. My cousin lives in the city. I don't know how she lives in the city because it's very expensive. It costs a lot of money to live there. So, um, she, and she doesn't live in a very big apartment. It's kind of small, and she, she spends a lot of money to live there. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's just not my type of a place to go to, but, of course, it's a great place to, to go if you're not from here. Everyone wants to go to New York City because it's so it's so big and crazy. Um, but watch out for the taxis because they won't stop for you. If you, if you walk out in the middle of the road, they just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> the, nobody stops for you. You have to. You have to make your own way through New York City. Has anyone ever gone in the class to New York? To New York City? No. 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 Just wondering. Maybe I thought someone would would have gone before, but that's okay. Maybe you'll come and come and see me one day in New York. <laughs> maybe. All right. So, I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, is Central Park in downtown New York? Central Park is in, in Manhattan. My cousin lives by Central Park. You can walk from her from her house to Central Park. It only takes a few minutes. So it's 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 pretty much right in the middle of Manhattan. Central Park is the park with the big pillar in the middle? Yes. Yep. It's the only it's the it's the only place that you'll find a group of a big huge group of trees in the entire in in New York City, the entire New York City. In Manhattan, because you don't see many trees there, because there's so many buildings. Yeah. So <laughs> when you see Central Park, um, you'll know that you'll know where you are because it's the biggest park in New York City. So you you'll you would definitely be able to recognize the park if you saw it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I watch the movies. I I'm sorry. The movies and um, Central Park is presenting on on them. In I'm them. sorry. Can you can you say that again? I couldn't hear you. Uh, I've seen uh, many movies. And oh. I can see Central Park. Right, there. right. And just like Los Angeles and Hollywood, just like in LA. Yes. Um, New York City is a, is a big place to to film movies, American movies as well. So a lot of um, mm -hmm. a lot of movies you can see New York City in in the background. Um, and Central Park as well, just like you said. Correct. Yes. So those are two big places to, for um, movie production, for American movie production, is L.A., Los Angeles, and New York City. Um, so those are the two biggest places for movie production. All right, so let's move on to number two, which is Orlando, Florida. Does anyone know what Orlando, where... What would be in Orlando, Florida? Orlando, Florida. We we kind of talked about it before. We so have Dis Disneyland. Disney oh, World. Disney World. Disney, Disney World. I, I was going to say it sounds like uh, Donald Duck or something. Right, right. <laughs> Donald Donald Duck lives in Disney World and Disneyland. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I met Donald Duck. He, it was just a stuff. It was just a big blow up thing, and the, someone was in a costume. Duck? Yep, the real <laughs> duck. <laughs> it was actually someone just dressed up in a Donald Duck costume in Disney yeah. World. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so Disney World is unlike any other place in the world. I would say it, it's it's magical. That's that's a, the best way to describe it. Um, there are so many places to go in Disney World. There's so many rides to go on, a lot of roller coasters and, and different rides. Um, there's four main parks in Disney World. One is called Animal Kingdom, and they have a safari there, so you could see, um, you could see animals from all around the world there, which is pretty cool. And then there's Magic Kingdom, and that's where all of um, like Donald Duck and Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse are. That's where you would be able to meet them in Magic Kingdom. And then there's also Epcot. And Epcot is um, 
they've got this this huge reproduction of the world. So you can go to different countries and try different foods in each country. So you could go to Germany, you can go to China. Um, it's not every country in the world, it's just um, certain ones, but you can go to different countries and try their food, and sometimes they've got restaurants there and different things to do and activities in Epcot. And in Epcot, they also have lots of rides as well. And then, um, well, so those are the three main ones. And then there's also MGM Studios. And MGM Studios looks a lot like um, Hollywood. The way Hollywood looks in LA, that's what they 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 tried to make it look like. They wanted it to look like LA in Florida, in Disney World. Um, so there's lots of um, rides there. There's a roller coaster there that goes 60 miles per hour. I went on it. It was crazy. It was so fast. I want to try that. <laughs> yeah, it, it goes it goes from zero to 60 in about five seconds. So it's really oh. fast. You you have to hold on. You're like, oh, it's, <laughs> it's really crazy. It's called the Rockin' Roller Coaster. I don't know. Maybe you can look it up online. It goes vertically up. The Rockin' and Roller down. Coaster. It, it goes upside down. It goes uh -huh. in um, circles. It goes sideways. And, and you're in the dark the whole time. So whatever is lit up is all you can see. You go through a building. It's an indoor roller coaster. It's not outside. It's in, inside. In a mm -hmm. huge building, so it's if you like roller coasters and scary things, I would suggest going on the Rock and Roller Coaster if you ever go to Disney World. It's really cool. Um, and also golfing. Have you ever heard of the sport of golfing? No. Golfing. It's an American. It's an American sport. Um, it's kind of boring. I've done it before. It's not very fun, but. It's it's a slow paced game, so it goes very slow. You, you you try to hit a ball into a hole, like far down, far away from far away. But there's about a hundred and seventy six golf, golf course. Golf. Ah, golf. I know it. Right, and someone said it's Scottish, which is true. It's a Scottish, it's a Scottish Scottish sport. Um, so there's there's a hundred and seventy six golf courses just in Disney World, like around Disney World in Orlando. So if you want to go golfing, which is, a, which is a sport that some people just go on a trip to go golfing, they'll take a trip just to go golfing with their friends. Um, it, there, you can go to Orlando because there's lots of golf courses there. I wouldn't personally like to golf. I think it's kind of boring. But, boring, yeah. Yeah. But if, football is more exciting. Football would definitely be something... That's exciting. Golf is kind of boring. I don't know. <laughs> okay. um, so there was 28 billion tourists, um, visitors coming to Disney World in 2009. And there's probably more each year. So I would say there was probably that many this year as well. And when I went to Disney World, I went um, in February, in the month of February. I didn't go during the summer. Because sometimes in the summer in Orlando, since it's right in the middle of Florida, it's not by the water, it's not by the ocean, it gets really, really hot. And it, and it's there's so many people that you're waiting online for hours to get on, on rides. It's, it's crazy. So mm -hmm. um, when I went with my family, we went in February. And it was a little bit cooler, but there was less, there was less people. Um, than if you were to go in, in the summer, which I've gone to, and there was mm -hmm. so many people. It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't fun to stand in line for, out, for an hour, just for one ride that, that lasts maybe a minute or two. <laughs> it's crazy. Yes. So, uh, what, how can I say uh, the, the word for uh, Disney World? You know this place that uh, contains a lot of uh, lo um, roller coasters and uh, what is the word in English for this? Uh, amusement park. Is that yeah, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I'll type it in for you. It's called an amusement park. That's um, a park where all the rides are, like Disney World. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And there's amusement parks other than Disneyland and Disney World in America. They're just smaller. Um, there's one that's close to me called the Great Escape, but it's not. It's it's nowhere near the size of of Disney World and Disneyland. It's a lot smaller. 
and there's 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 amusement parks all over America. So, all right, so let's move on to our last place, which is Chicago. Chicago. I'm just gonna Why type it in for you. Did you choose this for the to be the first place? <laughs> uh, actually, I went online and I found these places. So this is actually um, from a website that I looked at. So these are these are just facts that I found that I'm sharing mm -hmm. with you guys. Um, I've never been to Chicago. It's in the Midwest, so it's kind of in the middle of the United States. And it's it's by um, oh someone said that they they've been here which is very nice I've never been to Chicago myself but um, my mom has and she said she liked it but it's very hot there it's very hot during the summertime they have cold winters like they do in New York but in the summer it's very hot and they've got a park there called Millennium Park which is supposed to be a really nice park to go to like Central Park as well. And it's also located by one of the Great Lakes. And that lake is called Lake Michigan. And Lake Michigan is so huge that when you stand in front of it, it, it literally looks like an ocean because you can't see the other side. It's that big. And there's, there's five lakes um, within that area that are just as big as Lake Michigan. And those are called the Great Lakes. And they are so big that they look like they're an ocean because you cannot see the other side. And um, about there's also beaches on the lake too, so you can go swimming in the in the lake, on the beach. And there's about ten billion dollars spent by tourists in Chicago, Illinois, every year and during the summertime. Um, but isn't it dangerous? I'm sorry. What did you say? Uh, some people fish in Lake Michigan. Right. Yeah, you can fish in Lake Michigan, and there's very big fish in there because the, the lake is so big that it can hold a lot of um, cre sea creatures in it. So um, it's it's a – someone asks if it was um, – how do people call Chicago? Some people call it Chi-Town. That's a nickname for Chicago, Chi-Town. And it is a sunny city. Someone asked if it was a sunny city. Um, I'm not sure why they call it Chi Town. I think it's just like a nickname for the think, of Chicago. I think Chicago is known as a a big uh, 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 crime town, which right. Yeah, most, most most cities in America, like New York City, Chicago, um, L.A., places around L.A. The bigger cities in America are crime towns. Usually, there's a lot of violence and crime that happens, unfortunately. But um, in in bigger cities, that's usually where you'll see the crime and the violence. Yes. <laughs> mafia. Someone said mafia. Yep. There's there are mafias in in America. <laughs> Has anyone seen The Godfather? Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like The Godfather. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we just went through our whole list, and I just wanted to take a little bit of time and ask you guys where you like to vacation. Do you go on vacations? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, Alex, do you go on vacation? Yes. Where do yes. you usually go for vacation? In my country. You go? Okay. All right. Very nice. Yeah, in my country. I haven't traveled to any other part of the world. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, unfortunately. Oh, well, maybe you will one day. I, it took me a while, too. I, I just recently, I have family that lives in Germany, so I recently went there about um, three or four years ago, and that was my first time out of the U.S., besides going to Canada, but Canada is not that far away. Um, okay. That was my first time going to Europe, because I have family over there. And I really loved it. I love Germany. And I would love to go back. But it's just so expensive, and I don't have the money right now because I'm in college. So I have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so let's move on. Um, Erman? Yeah, hi, I'm here. Hi. Do you go on vacation anywhere? Uh, I, I, I haven't been abroad. No? Okay. Well, that's fine. I have friends that have never been out of the United States before. They've never left the United States. So mm -hmm. that's fine. Um, 
if you don't have the money to leave the state or if you can't can't leave wherever you are then I mean that's that's fine that happens uh, maybe next month I will go to uh, Australian Australia yeah. Wow that's a be I hear it's beautiful in Australia my friend is going to New Zealand that's where her fa her parents live and um, New Zealand is is right there too so I'll have to ask her how it is and let you guys know how New Zealand is. <laughs> it's, it's very far. Yeah, I know. Um, Gustavo, how about you? Where do you vacation? Um, I I don't usually go uh, in back uh, in travel on vacation. On vacation, you don't travel. No. No. I I travel when when I have to do something in 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 that in the city and but in vacation I don't I don't travel. Okay. All right. Um. Usually in America, Europeans usually have longer vacation time than we do. In America, usually we only get about a week or two during during for per year. If you have a full time job, you only get a week or two of vacation. Sometimes you can get you can have a job where you get a longer vacation, but. Um, Europeans, like my, my cousins in Germany, they get a whole month off for vacation and, and that's just, that's not how America is. Usually you only get a week or two vacation from your job in America. Like, like my dad, and my dad works his job and he only gets a week per year for vacation. Hi. Hello. Hi. I am French. Hello, Jean-Marc. Yes. Bonjour. Yes. <laughs> I, I am. I'm going to London next match. Okay. All right. Um, I, I am busy better. Okay. Um. There's a lot of noise going on behind you. Can you get into a quiet place? That would be perfect if you could do that for me, please. Because we can all hear that what's going on behind you what's happening in your house or wherever you are all right all right so we're we're talking about vacations right now jean marc so we're going to move on to jad jadmir jadmir hi do you like to vacation do you go on vacations no i don't have vacations uh, no. i'm a student and i'm on vacation right now but i don't go to, to somewhere uh, to anywhere I'm just going, going to go to the gym in the mornings and go to work in the afternoons. Okay. <laughs> that's all that I do in, in a day. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, how about Russell? I don't know. Russell couldn't hear us before, but maybe he could hear us now. Russell, can you hear me? Can you talk, Russell? I don't think we can hear him. Okay, Sofian. Uh, okay, uh, I actually went to one time to to France. <laughs> okay, all right. How how is France? Ah, uh, it's beautiful, especially Paris. 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 <laughs> I Very visit nice. Paris, uh, Lyon, and uh, Grenoble, uh, and wow. just. <laughs> Do you speak French? Uh, yes, of course. Oh boy. I took yeah. I took French in in school in high school, but I I can honestly say that I'm not very good at it. I don't I'm not good at speaking it, so I'm a bit shy when I want to yes. speak French <laughs> and uh, and German too because that's that's where my family is from. So. In fact, you're right. Uh, many people looks like uh, English is more easy than French. <laughs> French is pretty hard. French is pretty hard, <laughs> uh, especially on on grammar. <laughs> yes, grammar is hard as well. Jean Marc. Jean-Marc, we're just talking about how French is hard to speak. <laughs> um, okay, Z Ziad, Ziad? Z Ziad. <laughs> Ziad, hi. Uh, hi do again. you like to go on vacation? Or do you go anywhere yeah. for vacation? Uh, uh, I've never been uh, outside of my country for a vacation, but uh, um, I think I'd, I'd like to go to a place like uh, Japan or uh, Italy. Oh, uh, Italy. Ooh. Or maybe in America, uh, I want to visit the, something called the, gravi the Gravity Chamber. It's a the place in NASA. Okay. All right. Very nice. Yeah. That's in Florida. So you want to go to Florida, in the state of Florida. Yeah. Okay. It costs awesome. a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it does cost a lot of money, unfortunately. And it costs a lot of money for um, an American to go to Europe as well, too. 
So everything costs money. It's all expensive. <laughs> Wherever you want to go. Flying is expensive in an airplane. That's what's really expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, how about Beppa? 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 Vera. Hello. It's a dog. I'm My back. Name is Vera. <laughs> okay. Um, do you like to do you like to vacation anywhere? Yeah, I'd like to go to Germany this summer, maybe, because I have relatives there and they have never seen me. Oh, very nice. Very yeah, nice. Also, I'd like to go to America, but I don't know when I can do this. Maybe when I can save uh, just any sum of money. <laughs> I know. It's expensive. I know. I would like to go to Germany too to see my family again. Sometimes they come. They've. Um, they've come to America as well, but it costs a lot of money for them to come here too. So um, I, w I just have to save up money, maybe for a few years, <laughs> so I can go to Germany and I see think my family. I, again. I'll be able to go there maybe with a program of couch surfing because it is a bit cheaper. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I would also like to go to Italy. I think Italy seems like it's a very romantic place to go, um, and it looks like they have a lot of food, a lot of good food. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> and pizza, yeah. You could get Italian style pizza in New York City. That's probably the closest thing to um, real Italian pizza. It's if you go to the city and try New York City pizza. So, yeah. All right. Well, it was really good talking to all of you. I, our, our class is actually done now. So, um, I hope that you'll be in my next class. I actually have a next class in um, a few hours. And we're going to talk about the geography of, of New York State because that's where I'm from. So if you want to join my class then, you're more than welcome to, and I hope to speak with all of you again. Okay. All right. Thank you for the lesson. Sure, no problem. Have a nice day, everyone. You too. Thank you. All right, bye. Thank you're you. welcome. Bye. -bye.